Wizards hosting the Sixers, and the Sixers are three-point road favorites. The over-under is at 238. The Sixers are minus 156 on the money line, and the Wizards are plus 132. Now, these are the overnight odds. They're going to change the closer we get to tip off tomorrow. Both of these teams played tonight. Um, the Sixers were home. The Wizards were on the road. So both of them are traveling to D.C., and both of them lost. Yeah, no surprise there. Now, they played each other three times so far this season, and the Sixers won all three games, 146-128 in Philly, then 131-126 in D.C., and then 146-101 in Philly again. Head-to-head, -head, the Sixers are 6-4. Six They're on a four-game winning streak against the Wizards. The home team is 5-5. Five five. The favorite is 5-5 five five against the spread, the spread, and the favorite is 6-4 on the money line. The over is hitting their last three. The over is 7-3, but the under 238 is 7-3. I imagine a lot of these games were also with Embiid, so... The Sixers are 2-8 in their last 10, 2-8 against the spread, and the over is 6-4 in their last 10. They have lost their last four games that they've played. It was a total of 257, 220, 231, and then 248. They lost by 15 to the Nets, by 16 to the Mavericks, by 23 to the Warriors, and then by 6 to the Hawks. So for anyone who's ever curious about what MVP means in this kind of situation, that's what Embiid means to the Sixers because without him, they look like a damn train wreck. Now, for the Wizards, they are 2-8 and eight in their last 10 as well. They are 5-5 five and five against the spread, and the under is 8-2 and two in their last 10. They have lost their last five games. There was a total of 212, 252, 220, and then 262. They lost by 8 to the Heat, by 28 to the Suns. They, beat the, they lost to the Cavs by 8, and then they lost to the Celtics by 4. This is going to be the decline of the 76ers, and it's a shame that they got as many wins as they did because it's either they're going to find a way to squeak into the playoffs without Embiid if he's gone for the year, or they're just going to miss the playoffs and miss out on a good draft pick. I'm going to take the Wizards in this one. I, I get it, but I, neither one of these teams have been playing good. I'll take the Wizards with the money line. I will take the Wizards getting the points, and I'm going to go under. These are just my picks. If you disagree, please go with your gut, and please bet responsibly.